Hello everybody, it's Stephanie, it's me again. You're just gonna see what I'm doing today. Um, I'm gonna make some um, pizza in the frying pan. This is my Ninja Never Stint. I really like this pan a lot. It Because you can actually use, um, you can actually use this in, and it's not gonna stick. These kind of material, and sometimes you need this. and. Especially when I'm going to make this pizza. So I'm going to make a pizza with a um, low carb. Here we go. It's these. And it's the um, the low carb whole wheat. Um, you know, these tort the flat tortillas or whatever they are called. So I'm going to make this. And so then I need to stick it in the oven, which this should withstand about 400, 500 degrees. So I'm going to try it. This will be the first time I'm trying it. With that, I make sure I, I'm going to use a um, mitt when I take it out or and put it in. But here we go. First, this, the first things first. We have some of this uh, uh, avocado oil spray. And I'm just going to spray the pan. And I'm going to do a couple of these because it's for me and Perry. So I'm going to do, you, you guys are going to see the first one and then I'll do the rest later. All right, so we got, we got this the spray in. I'm going to turn it on. Gonna let it. Then I'm gonna put a tortilla in here. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, I got a, a tortilla to put in. Just put it right in. And I want to let it get hot. Okay? Um, then I'm going to turn it over and finish it up. But first it's going to get hot. It's going to take a little bit. And then I'll turn it over. Just hold on one minute. All right, I'm going to turn it over. You see it's, it's starting to fluff up, fluff up a bit. So there we go. Now, I believe we have to work fast here. So first, actually I'm going to turn it down just a little. But I think we need to work fast here. We're going to put some sauce on here. This is... um. The great value kind. And I'm gonna put a little of this. I also have I also have let me turn it down a little. I also have some spaghetti sauce left. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on here too, in here, and then I'm going to spread it out. So you don't need so much sauce, you just need to spread it out, and you need to get it all the way to the edges. But this is not gonna have any edges. Get it all the way to the end, just like that. Real fast. Next thing I want to put for me, I'll put a little garlic on here. Put just a little garlic on top. Give it some more taste. A little bit of red onion powder. Put a little bit of that on here. If I had, if I had spinach, I'd put that on there. I just don't have any. Here's some Italian seasoning. Throw that on too. And I want to put a little sweet basil right on there. Wait till my basil comes up. I'm gonna put fresh basil on. A little bit of that. Next, I'm gonna put on some cheese. I got some Parmesan. I should have opened this already. I got some Parmesan here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this Parmesan on it. Just a little. Here we go. And then, of course, you gotta have mozzarella, which we already got right here. I'll throw some of that on here too. Some nice cheese on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put a little bit more. Just a little more mozzarella. And I do have some pepperoni. And I'm going to turn on my broiler on high so it's ready. So it's going. Um, let me press start. So it'll go. Okay. And I'm going to put some pepperonis on here. Nice size pepperoni. So, you know, if you're going to make your pizza at home, you can put whatever the heck you want on here, however much you want on there. That's what all you have to do. And I'm going to do it just like that. I'm going to cover it up with some pepperoni here. Here we go. So that's quite, that's just about enough. 
Just about. This is a pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni pizza. Now, let me step it back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and I better get me a mitt and get my other mitt. But I'm gonna use this mitt right now to put it in, put her in. I'm putting it right in, in here. It's, it's a second from the top for me. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it because we have to. So maybe about a minute, I'm gonna take it out. You guys are gonna see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn this off because I'll make the other ones after this one is done. So I'm gonna actually keep my eye on this, see what's going on. And here's a quick, quick dinner for everybody. We'll see how long it's gonna take. Okay, I'm back. It's been maybe two minutes. I got my gloves on. Do not forget to put your gloves on here. This is hot. It's on broil, so it's hot. All right. Look at that. Look at that pizza. Look at that. I, I, I'm, in, I'm adoring these pans. I'm adoring this, um, this, this never stick pan. I'm adoring it. And I'm going to put it, my pizza, on that plate. Look at that. Look at that. That's that pizza. I'm actually gonna, I don't know. I gotta, I don't have a pizza cutter, but hold on. Okay guys, this is the pizza without using my pizza cutter. And it is nice and crispy on the bottom. And I like that personally. I'm gonna let you guys see me, you know? I like it crispy like that on the bottom. So let me give it a taste. Pizza. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pizza. Low carb. Well, low carb because we're using a low carb tortilla. We got some sauce. We got some cheese. We got a little bit of meat. You know, almost keto, I guess. But it's really good. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. <laughs> mm. So, I'm making I'm one more for, for Perry. And that's what we're going to eat for dinner. Maybe I'll make two more. But that's what we're having for dinner. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate all of you. I'm just showing you what we eat in these days. Hmm. As you can see, I'm ready to eat. So, I'll see you all very soon. And that's some good pizza. Not quite New York, but good. But good. I can tolerate it. Definitely better than what I found around here. So, I'm going to make my own pizza. Talk to you all later. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and being there with me. I appreciate you all. Talk to you all soon.